right, it is a foggy day at Fort San Cudo. Do you think I can fit through with our nightclub truck? <laughs> our MTL Bounder, our new one. Excuse me. This is a civilian hangar owner. Oh yeah, no problem. To the base. No problem. I was going to say we can squeeze our MOC through, so I figured this one shouldn't be an issue either. If that can go through. <laughs> All right, well, let's get up to our hangar. Fort San Gudo. San Gudo? San Gudo. I don't know. One over the other. <laughs> Harassing the army guys. <laughs> uh, Alright. Hello there everybody. Welcome back. I'm Lewis and Zog. Welcome back from more Grand Theft Auto Online. So here we are at our hangar. Hangar 3497 in Fort San Gudo. Thought about changing my hangar recently, actually, but uh, to the big one, or maybe the one way down the runway. Um, a lot of people like the one way down the runway because you're left all on your own and it's easy to land. And some people like that one, the big one, because it's big and it's easy to find it. And you can just, you know, when you get the timing right, you, la you land and you press your button to go right into the hangar so you can almost avoid crashing. You just kind of right in, you know, for those, <laughs> those with a hangar will know what I mean, but those without it may wonder, but you, you get practice at it and uh, you might die a couple times, but you can zoom right into your hangar basically. And uh, being where I am, I've got obstacles. So some people don't like that, but I actually kind of like these obstacles because it kind of protects me from, uh, from enemy fire. So I kind of swoop around this corner quite often and come in low and then come in here and it kind of keeps the missiles and gunfire from getting me if I'm ever doing any of those air missions. Yeah, well, let's head into our hangar. Oh, LJT, of course. LJT. Oh, he's just calling about the uh, documents of forgery that I never supply. <laughs> it's mainly there for our nightclub. All right, into the hangar. So I got my Elitist Travel t-shirt on, as you guys can see. And I think we're going to do, uh, we're going to order a vehicle while the Elitist travel sale is still on the go. Oh, it does this double load thing lately, so here and there. Don't know why. Don't know why it does that, but it kind of loads twice. All right, got a spot right here in the middle of our globe. Yeah, I thought about changing it to the compass. I don't know what you guys think. I like the globe, but it can be a little bit of a basketball. <laughs> but I do like our globe. But the compass kind of looks cool, too. Hmm. Anyway, so, yeah, so I thought we'd get ourselves a new company asset today. I think we're going to get ourselves the Havoc. The, oh, yeah, I think we can actually look at a, a Beta Havoc right over here. Yeah, this Havoc. Although this is not functional, it's just a decoration inside your hangar, but that's more or less the Havoc right there. All right, so let's uh, order it, and then we'll, we'll talk about why to get one. So they have done a few sales on this before, and it came out with a Smuggler's Run DLC. And uh, if you guys missed this sale, because it's this is the last day of the sale, unfortunately, um, but I'm sure it will come out on sale again if it matters that uh, that much much to you. So uh, let's bring up Alitas, Alitas Travel. All right, there it is, the Havoc. All right, now it's normally two million, three hundred thousand, and nine hundred dollars. And uh, after you've completed uh, 12 air freight missions with your hangar, and a hangar is required, but after you've completed 12 air freight missions, it gives you the trade price that brings it down to 1,730,000. All right, and right now I think it's on sale, the whole site's for 35% off, I believe. And so we can get it right now for $1,124,500. Now, if you ask me, that's one thing against the Havoc is the price. You know, it's a great helicopter and all the aircraft are expensive. But that said, I think it's a little bit too expensive. I think it should be, um, you know, in the half million to 800,000 realm. But that's just my opinion. I don't think it should be an expensive aircraft, especially for what we're getting it for. But we'll get into that. Um, so, yeah, let's order it up. All right. So that's the prices. And the air freight, I find the air freight's easier. If you buy a, if you buy a hangar, just uh, basically fill it up once and you've unlocked all the better prices for all the aircraft. You know, you don't even have to fill it up all the way. I think 42 is all, all you need, I believe. Yeah, to unlock all the different uh, trade prices for the smugglers run aircraft. All right, the Havoc. In the world of tactical air support, bigger is better, right? Wrong. <laughs> Consider this. The next time one of your legitimate business associates arranges to meet you in the bathroom of a crack den in Banning, they could swing open the stall door to find you hovering over the bowl in one of these beauties, throwing a machine gun upgrade, and you're, you're going into these negotiations with a serious edge. All right, and notice that this is not a Pegasus vehicle, so you must have a hangar. All right, which is unfortunate. So let's buy it now. Purchase pending. 
All right. We've bought our aircraft. Got our discount. Yeah, thank you, Lita's Travel. <laughs> so why buy Havoc? Well, um, for me, I'm mainly buying it for the CEO menu. So we've talked before about that, and uh, I'll go outside and use that in just a moment. But uh, yeah, secure serve, register as a CEO or a VIP. They're pretty much the same thing for the most part. And then you would go into there and you can spawn vehicles, CEO vehicles. Now the Buzzard is famous for that. The Buzzard is, is probably the best value vehicle in the game, the best workhorse, because you can spawn in the CEO vehicle. Quick, easy, and get yourself from A to B, no problem. So one of the other recent additions is the Havoc. And it's rare that Rockstar's added anything. People have wanted them to add a bunch of things to this, but they've only added a few things recently, and the Havoc is one of them. Now it is faster than the, the Buzzard, but it only seats one. So um, I'm mainly buying it for those uh, end of MC cells, actually, for the end of my motorcycle club cells. Uh, when you're stuck in the middle of nowhere and other uh, CO missions and uh, CO cells and things like that, you're quite often stuck in the middle of nowhere and you want to get out of there fast and get back to civilization, get back to your other grinding or whatever else you need to do. And the Havoc is a great vehicle to call in and use. Now there's two vehicles. We're going to see the personal one appear here, I believe, any moment now and uh, here in my hangar. But you know what, guys? I don't really think I'm going to be using my personal one very often, maybe never. Uh, I'm mainly going to be using the CEO one that you guys just seen, the CEO menu one up here. Now, unfortunately, like the buzzard, that calls in just a basic one, although the buzzard can't be upgraded, but it's always black with tinted windows. It's kind of stylish, I guess, for companies. But that said, um, um, it's a base model. So um, that said, people do think that it has the performance upgrades, that it has the engine upgrades and things like that, but the, the base model, the CEO model, the black model, um, basically has no weapons. Now this only can carry a minigun anyway, and a very weak one at that, so it's not a big loss per se, but, uh, but people would rather have your personal one show up. Your new Havoc is confirmed as having been delivered, and here she is. And she does look actually a lot more than I expected, like that one. On a side note, guys, I would have thought it was cooler and maybe Rockstar could fix it. I, I really think they ought to fix the hangar, guys, on a side note. Um, I, you know, you see these corners here? Like, these corners, I don't know what that's about. Uh, I don't know. They're corners, mysterious corners that there's got to be something back there, but we can't get to it. But I think they should put in parking spots, or a parking spot at least, so that you can put in a vehicle in here, or temporary vehicle at least. Um, yeah, so that would be great. Now, on that note, I think that a bonus aircraft would be nice if your Havoc could actually go here. Instead of taking up one of your spaces over there, you could actually put it here temporarily and replace the, uh, the base model one. I think that'd be cooler, personally. And then Charlie'd be working on yours. That's just my thoughts. But I thought it would've been, would've been cooler if they had an extra little spot just for the Havoc over there, so you didn't lose a parking spot in your, in your hangar. Most people have plenty of room, but, but, uh, you can eventually fill them up. So here she is, the Havoc. All right. Yeah, it takes up a small spot, as you can imagine, so it doesn't take up a lot of room in your hangar. It's one of the uh, small aircraft, obviously, not a medium or a large, um, so you can fit plenty of different stuff in your hangar with it. And uh, yeah, it's part of the CEO menu. It's based primarily on the Heli Sport CH7, is what most people think. Seems to have the same tail design and, uh, and front canopy. And as you guys can see, it's very exposed, so it's not good for battle anyway. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get ours ready and then we'll call in the CEO one outside. I was going to show you guys the CEO one because that's the main reason I'm buying it. But uh, might as well upgrade this and take it out and have both, right? Why not? So let's modify it. All right, Charlie. We are doing it all. Armor for 50000 <laughs> Not that that's going to do us a lot of good. But that said, a lot of people do think that this, this aircraft takes a lot more punishment than it's given credit for. It's a very weak aircraft. It's a very small, nimble, weak aircraft. But that said, you know, it, it takes, like, what you would expect. It takes more. I don't know. Kind of like the buzzard. It's not strong, but it does take more of a beating than people think it does. You know, depending on the type of beating that you're giving it, I guess. Small arms fire, or are you crashing into buildings? <laughs> All right, so the personal version can have uh, countermeasures, and I'm going to get countermeasures. What am I going to get? I guess I'm going to get flares, I guess. Yeah, so there's some flares. Now, unfortunately, the CEO one does not get any countermeasures at this time. And I say at this time because I really think that Rockstar ought to fix it so that the CEO one gets countermeasures. I really think they ought to fix it so a lot of aircraft get countermeasures. In today's weaponized world, like, um, you know, it'd be nice to give us a hand. And it's going to make us spend money on them anyway, so I don't know. You'd think the Rockstar would want it. I'd want it. <laughs> All right, engine level four, 33,500. Like I said, some people think the CEO menu or the CEO one already has these upgrades for performance, 
which is nice. Now smooth handling, this is a notorious um, uh, easy aircraft to crash when you're landing. Uh, it can fall over easily and, and uh, have other issues. <laughs> so some people you may not want the race handling. You may want something like a smooth handling for it. But I'm going to go with race handling because I tend to like those last minute um, motions. Saves my life going around things. But like I said, sometimes those last minute uh, jerkiness can actually get you killed too, obviously. All right, so let's see. We'll get to those liveries and weapons. 50 caliber minigun. All right, so you guys can see that right there. And it is apparently weaker than most other miniguns, so it's not exactly, it's just pretty much defense. You can scare away your enemies a little bit with it. <laughs> 195,000 that you could skip. You could just buy this and then keep it stored in your, in your hangar in storage and use the CEO one and not even spend any of the money that I'm spending on upgrading the personal one that I'm probably never even going to use. I don't know. But I don't mind. It's not that expensive. It's pretty simple. The library. All right. It'd be nice if they gave us a different view, but it seems like this is the only view we're going to get. Yeah, so we've got the Havoc Basics and the Havoc Sticker Bomb. You gotta get this right. can probably tell the bottom skid's changing to the Sticker Bomb version. Sprunk, the essence of life. Havoc Masters. <laughs> Meteorite Snack. I like my meteorites. <laughs> Fleeca Bank. Fleeca Bank, I should say. Liberty National. Liberty City National. Oh, LCN. And E. Cola. Deliciously infectious. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. All right. Now, I think I'm not actually going to give it a, a library. Would have been nice if they let us use the camos on it, too, and stuff. But it does have a primary and secondary. So let's see what's... Yeah, secondary is all, all the back piece, the back uh, tail. It's actually not too bad in chrome. Hmm. Yeah, I might do that. Why not? And the primary color. So you can do it up in different colors and the libraries that you just seen. But it's a pretty straightforward uh, customization for this one, for the personal version. Yep, shiny, bright. Now I'm kind of thinking stealth-like, because I'm, I'm going to be flying around quick and hiding around. I don't expect to be using this in combat, but if I was, I'd be hiding around buildings and houses and stuff like that. So, something dark, like, like the CEO one, actually. But I don't want to make them the exact same, so maybe I'll make mine uh, classic black, maybe? Hmm. Hmm, maybe we'll go with the military, like a dark earth. Dark earth's always nice. Gray's not bad. Yeah, I think I'll go with the Dark Earth. Ain't that pretty nice. Yeah, thank you very much, Charlie. I thought so too. <laughs> in a uh, in a military company kind of way. All right, so I think that is everything. Let's stick right. Exit the hangar. All right, so the main reason that you would get a Havoc like this is for the convenience. Oh, it is very nimble. Now, remember that I do have the race handling on it, though, so it's going to be even more nimble than smooth would be. And if you don't want it to be as crazy as this, you might want smooth. Woo, look at that. That's crazy. Awesome. Well, we'll come back to the base in just a moment. Oh, helicopter to or, uh, jet fighter taking off. He hits the afterburner and then he kind of slows down. Whoa. <laughs> I tried to land on him. But it is a fast helicopter. See? Speed up, Jet Fighter. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> yeah, so as you guys can see, it's a fast helicopter. Um, uh, very nimble, very agile. Yeah. Now, compared to jet fighters and stuff, maybe not so much so. But compared to most other helicopters, if not all other helicopters, it's very, very fast. 
I'm not sure if it's the fastest compared to something like the Vlitas, but it is definitely one of, if not possibly, the fastest. Yeah. Here's our interior. So we got an altimeter there on the right, okay, compass on the left. Cool. All right, let's go land here and get our CO on it. Mm, here might might be a good spot. Oh, <laughs> a little hard. That's what people mean about you gotta be gentle landing it. But it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Oh, it's definitely very uh, very rocky. It can be open sport. Kind of different. Cool. All right, let's go to CO vehicles and down near the bottom so you can just push up. It's probably easier if you do get it. Just push up. Havoc. And there's our CEO version right here. The main version I'm buying it for. Now, some people might wonder why not use other vehicles um, for what I was talking about, like the Oppressor Mark II that's very popular right now. Um, you can, you can use those other vehicles, but sometimes it can be a bit of a pain. Um, you know, if you're not in your motorcycle, motorcycle club, your MC, um, you can't keep continuously spawn them in. So when you're part of your MC, you can just call in the bike after bike and change your mind and return it. But when you're a part of your company, you can't do that. Um, you can call it in once, but if you're in the middle of combat and stuff, that can be a pain. Now, next to that, the oppressor and things like that are, are personal vehicles. So if you wanted to switch to another vehicle, like say you wanted to grab a, um, your pyro or something from your, from your hangar or other vehicles, they both count as personal vehicles and you can't have two at the, out at the same time. So it can be a little awkward switching from vehicles at the end of a mission or in the, mi the middle of a mission or at the end of a MC cell to switch to the vehicles that you want. So as many people already know, um, something like the Havoc gets you from there, uh, from A to B very fast. So you can get over to the vehicle you actually want. Uh, my bills. <laughs> but you can actually get to the vehicle you want quicker without having to use a personal vehicle to do it. So hopefully you guys know what I mean. Basically, you know, like you can't have two at the at the same time. So you can hop in your CEO buzzard, your CEO havoc, and then you can um, call in any personal vehicle you want instead of having to mess around with it or other stuff. So some people might, uh, might not get it because you can always use your oppressor in the MC, but that's not always available all the time. And if you're in combat, you uh, generally, these vehicles all have cooldown timers. So, um, if somebody blows it up on you, you have to wait a few minutes to get it back. So this gives you another chance to get something else that's quick. Maybe go pick up your oppressor manually, you know, fast enough to get out of the situation faster than the buzzard. Not as armed, and it can only seat one, but for a personal uh, aircraft, it's not bad. So this is a CO one, it's got a red tail, that's kind of cool. And a matte black finish. And we've got the limo tin, tinted window. I still think they ought to give us tinted windows for uh, aircraft, but I guess that separates the um, the company ones from the regular ones. But I still think it'd be nice if we had the option of tinted windows. It looks so much cooler. <laughs> yeah. And no weapons, as you guys can see. And no countermeasures. Yep, just a radio. <laughs> yeah. So I think Rockstar to fix that to uh, have the countermeasures working. It's too bad. So it's kind of just a convenience. I'd uh, recommend it for anybody who has the extra money. But if you, uh, you know, you don't need one, so you know, don't go out of your way for it. But uh, if you have the extra money for one, you know, I definitely recommend it. Um, here and there, there's been a few situations where I could use a Havoc, you know, just to save that time. I think it'll pay for itself over time. You know, it's one of those vehicles that save you, saves you uh, a few seconds here and there and everywhere. And uh, months later, you know, it's kind of sort of paid for itself. Yeah. And of course, being uh, it's part of the uh, regular hangers and smugglers run stuff, you can have two of them out, like I just had. So I guess technically you could have one out for a friend at the same time. Uh, let's see. Let's head off to the city here. Use our minigun. It's got a lot of kick, but apparently not as much strength as you'd hope. Lone Star. <laughs> it's 
little bit of a pain to aim at. Oh, there we go. You have to faster damage than I expected, but that's just a regular civil civilian vehicle, but... But it worked out. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's not exactly an offensive helicopter, but it is fast. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I'm uh, not practiced with it, obviously, because I just bought it. So, it may crash. <laughs> but uh, with some practice, you can really get in and out of places once you learn where it'll fit. You know, it's one of those few vehicles. If you ask me, there's the pressers and uh, I suppose the Havoc are one of the few vehicles that lets you get into certain places that are very tight in the game. You know, certain balconies that that generally you can jump out of a heli uh, helicopter or something and hope for the best. You know, come down in a parachute. But otherwise, these are the kind of vehicles that can get you there easily. I wish I had one in mind. Oh, that's what you got to watch out for. Yeah. Anybody who uses it, say that's a big warning. But like I think like most vehicles have you as you get used to it, that kind of goes away. You know, you just gonna anticipate that. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm hoping. And I don't die too many times. Oop. There we go. Hmm. I have to see try it out in the winter time and see how it can uh, snow ski <laughs> down hills and stuff. Yeah. Not bad. I can actually get pretty close to the doorway. Hmm. <laughs> There's a, there's a police station right here. And the bills. Especially those MC bills. <laughs> I was going to say, no stars for shooting up the cop shop. <laughs> oh, let's land on him. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pitiful weapon. Uh, that took a lot of effort for one guy. Oh. Oh. Definitely shooting me through that canopy. I'm almost dead. Fly away. Oh, blinded by the sun. Where's that police helicopter? Behind us. Hmm. Oh, but can it fit in there? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, we're gonna find out. <laughs> so, yep, kind of. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We are stuck. We're doing this. No, we're not doing this. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We died. <laughs> well, with some practice, I might have been able to fly through there. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. It's pretty tight. <laughs> All right. Well, CEO menu. CEO vehicles. Oh, nope. Not the buzzard. See how, see how much of a habit that was? And the havoc. All right. But like I said, there are other vehicles, but uh, sometimes you want different choices. Sometimes you want to switch to vehicles. Sometimes those vehicles are on a cooldown timer and you... And you got, uh, you want other choices, faster choices. Ooh, and you might want to practice with it. <laughs> or maybe get smooth handling. It's got quite the light on it. Look at all that light. Wow. 
Yep. Searchlight. Almost looks like a big drone. Well, very cool. So I'd recommend uh, getting it perhaps when it's on sale and perhaps when you have the extra money. I can afford it right now, so it is kind of just there for an extra convenience for me. But I wouldn't recommend it if you don't have the extra. You know, there are other uh, choices that you might want to get first, but I've already gotten them. And it's a good time to get ourselves a new company asset that'll help out here and there. Should be free or 1,000, I imagine. Mm -hmm. MMI, we expect the unexpected. No charge. I can do that. Call that our personal havoc. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to let you guys go. I think I'm going to come back though and uh, get another vehicle. Not sure. I was thinking about a few different ones that aren't on sale, just regular vehicles I want to add to the collection. And I was also thinking about the festival bus. I don't have a bus yet, so why not get the party bus? <laughs> if I'm going to buy a bus, why not the party one? Not that it's useful, just for the fun of it. Oh yeah. Oh, I wanted to set off my flares. Oh, yeah. Quite the spray. Yeah, it's too bad the CEO menu doesn't have that. Yep, on certain CEO missions like the crate mission, there are better choices and other choices, but some people like uh, calling in one of these just to get the crate, if you can get used to carefully flying it. Some people find it easier than other bigger helicopters to, uh, to fly near the water without getting into trouble. And then pick up your crate and fly away. Do your light if you keep setting that off. Ah, you have to do your light when you land. That's a. Once you take off, it becomes your flares. All right, well, that's cool little convenience. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. I'm the Missing Sock. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Oh, my words are all messed up today. <laughs> I'm getting back into it. I got called away for the weekend, unfortunately. So I got some things to take care of. So I didn't get uh, as far as I wanted to. I wanted to uh, get this days ago while I was still on sale and fresh. But that's okay. There's new sales. I think we're going to get the uh, Presser Mark II. I was thinking about getting that now, but I thought, well, the new sale might be tomorrow. So we'll have to wait and see. Either way, though, I'm going to get one. So we'll see about that tomorrow. But I think I'll see if I can fit something in before that. <laughs> All right, take care, everybody. See you again next time. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta watch that flopping action. <laughs> take care, everybody. See you again soon. Shorter, I could try to fit in that window.
<laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye bye. That's a better landing.